Dr. Guevara, you came here in July, so why is the inauguration just being held right now? So I started in July, and um, our board chair at the time, uh, Ed Scales, who is very well known in the community, he said, so when's the inauguration? And I said, we're not going to do one. And he said, well, we have to do something. We have to introduce you to the community. So we went through this whole thing back and forth. But first of all, you know, in the typical life of a college president, inaugurations aren't held within the first few days of them arriving. Mm -hmm. It usually is anywhere within three months to sometimes up to a year after you've actually started. But beyond that, I'm not a fan of all of these pomp and circumstance type of activities. Mm -hmm. And um, in order to have an inauguration, it means you have to spend money to do things. And I said to our board chair, I said, we're not going to spend any money. We're just not going to do this. So we batted it around for a little bit. And I said to him, I said, you know, Ed, if we're going to do this, we have to make money for the college. We have to bring some dollars in that will support programs and scholarships for students and the community that we're serving. We can't simply be putting out resources that we don't have now to have this wonderful celebration. As great as it might be, it's even greater if we can put something back into the till at the end of the day. Absolutely. So what are some of the events that the community can get involved in? Well, starting tomorrow at Mile Marker 88, and, and the theme is building bridges. And it's, it's sometimes hard for people to grasp the fact that it's Florida Keys Community College, not Key West Community College. Mm -hmm. It is the College of the Florida Keys. So starting tomorrow, we will have the event at uh, Mile Marker 88. It's a reception. It's for anyone who, who would like to come. It's free of charge. Um, but the idea is we wanted to do something and a variety of things, in fact, that would cover as much of the Keys to connect so that instead of doing everything here at the Key West campus, so we started with that first event up at Mile Marker 88. Mm -hmm. um, on Friday, the following day, we will have the formal inauguration and installation ceremony which will be the pomp and circumstance kind of event with people in their caps and gowns and their academic regalia. We have uh, Congressman Joe Garcia. We have our state representative, Holly Rashine. Um, we have college presidents from um, Florida and other parts of the country who will be attending. And we have other dignitaries, uh, including elected officials, who will be their local elected officials. We also have, after that, right after that ceremony, We've got a reception in the courtyard at the college for the general public, followed by a dinner. That's the inaugural ball and dinner. That was the one thing we are charging for. Um, there may be about two or three tickets left, but the tickets have gone, um, you know, like hotcakes um, on a cold day. And, um, and it's pretty much sold out, but there might be a couple of spaces left. And that, you know, that is a smaller event. Uh, so you'd have to pay to attend that. And then on the Saturday at the campus, that's the huge community day event, which will have um, food, drinks, mm -hmm. um, games for kids, all kinds of demonstrations. Um, Dr. Irwin, for example, is putting on his aquaponic demonstration that his students put together. The nursing faculty are putting on a demonstration involving the, the use of simulation in nursing and medicine. And there's a host of other things. I got myself in trouble there already because I called a few people. Mm -hmm. um, but, but a part of it also is, again, building bridges is to show the connections so that we'll have businesses with our academic folks showing. So if you were in this program, here are the kind of jobs you would be eligible to apply for and could potentially do at, you know, at the time that you graduate or during the time that you're maybe doing an internship or something like that. And, and so it's not just a, you know, come in and take a tour of the campus. It's going to be much more than that. Very hands-on, very interactive, very much involved. And the, the entire campus community has come together on this. Wonderful. And it's a chance to meet you and really get to talk with you and hear about your vision. And we don't have much time left, Dr. Guevara, but could you give me a quick overview of what your vision for the college is? You know, if I did, you'd be getting an exclusive. Oh, okay. So you can't share it already I will. I will. There'll be a lot to share tomorrow. There will be some exciting announcements. 
about where we're headed. We are finalizing our strategic plan. As you know, I spent the first several months and we did a listening tour up and down the Keys. We also had um, a website created that we put up so that people can send us comments and I wanted to hear what are we doing well, what are we not doing well, what do we need to do, what should we be doing, what would you like to see us do. You know, so a lot of things are under consideration, new programs, you know, the possibility of adding um, additional space for residence halls, um, as well as looking at how we continue to integrate the college into all of Florida Keys so that we have a presence that is much greater than what we have now in Marathon and in Coral Shores, mm -hmm. so that people who are in those areas don't feel like they're left out of the higher education equation. Wonderful. Well, I have no doubt that you have an excellent vision for the future of the Florida Keys Community College. Hopefully, everybody can come this weekend and hear it themselves. So. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and, and the event today, uh, Friday, starts around 5.30. And it, again, that, the, for that first event, is free and open to the public. And there's a reception afterwards. And don't forget Mile Marker 88 and on Saturday. Wonderful. You can check out more information on this by going to the Florida Keys Community College website. Dr. Guevara, thank you for being back on for the first time. I'll have you back much more in the future. I look forward <laughs> to it. Thank you. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back. Stay with me.